everybody, it's Ryan here from TV Chinwag. Today I'm going to do a two-parter. I want to talk about the shield. Um, I'm going to do a, here's the history of the shield and here's what the show is about. And then I also want to follow up with a review of the finale, which was on last night of season seven. The shield is about a group of police officers in Farmington, LA, who are drug enforcement cops and gang cops that have their own method of doing things. The team is led by Vic Mackey, played by Michael Chiklis, who is a, a detective in the Farmington, what they call the barn. It used to be an old um, church that they converted into a police station, and it's called the barn in, in their jurisdiction. Michael Chiklis plays Vic Mackey, who is a rough and tumble, mean son of a bitch cop who goes out into the streets with his task force um, to rid the streets of gangs and drugs and violence and, and stuff. Uh, he leads up something called the Strike Team, which is a, a group comprised of himself, um, <clears throat> Detective Shane Vendrell, played by Walton Goggins, um, Ronnie Gardaki, played by David Reese Snell, and uh, Detective Lemansky, played by Kenny Johnson. And there's a few other people throughout the seasons that come in and out, but those are the, the main four guys. And they go out on the streets and they get what they want. Um, unfortunately, they're not entirely good. In fact, they're kind of crooked and corrupt. Um, they're in there causing, taking drugs and selling them or um, doing all sorts of dirty cop stuff. The reason it makes it such a good cop show, and a lot of people have said The Shield is the best cop show that, that's ever been made, is the fact that the characters are very realistic and, and full of faults. Everyone on the show has all these huge gaping faults that make them seem realistic. If you look at some of the the sub-characters and the minor characters, which aren't really um, people like Detective Dutch Wagenbach, played by Jay Carnes, you can tell by looking at him he's not... It's not a CSI type thing where everyone's coiffed and perfectly dressed. I mean, Dutch wears like a suit that's a little bit too big and his hair is just a little bit too too long and he's, he's a good detective and a smart detective, but he's not... He's not a perfect sort of person, if you know what I mean, and, and no one on the show is a perfect person. They all have huge skeletons in their closet um, that we get to see throughout the seasons and, and learn more about. Um, a few of the main, uh, ma major characters, a guy who plays, uh, well, it's the, the captain, Captain De David Aceveda is his name, played by Benicio Martinez, um, CCH Pounder, who you may remember from lots of different shows, uh, plays Claudette Wims and does a great job. There's a lot of, I um, wouldn't say cameos, but sort of guest roles on different seasons. Anthony Anderson was uh, on for all of one season and a little bit more when he played Antoine Mitchell, who was a fantastic gang-type charismatic leader whom uh, the, the squad tried to put away and, and find, get him framed or, or whatever they did to, to try and get him into into jail. Glenn Close was on for a season, Forrest Whitaker was on for a season, um, and uh, a bunch of other great, great actors that, that just really got into their roles, you could tell, and really lived them. And again, people coming in with these huge flaws, uh, working together um, to try and get things done. It's not for the lighthearted. There's a lot of violence. Uh, there's a a lot of swearing and, and really harsh situations that might make a lot of people feel uncomfortable. And one of the reasons why I like the show is because it's so raw and real. It's done with the same sort of focus pan camera styles that you see on a lot of cop shows, but The Shield does it the best, where it's very raw, very um, documentary style shooting. Sometimes you feel like you're actually watching something real happening with the show. Um, it's been on for seven seasons, like I say, it just ended its seventh season run with the finale, and uh, just couldn't have ended better. It's, it's The writing is just fantastic. It's very deep and in-depth. You know, you learn about all these gangs and the leaders of the gangs and who they've paid off or how they're, they're intertwined with these other gangs and the violence and how the strike team and the, the police get involved and what they do to manipulate people. Um, our main characters with... Um, Vic Mackey and his crew are very self-serving and very uh, looking out for themselves only uh, for their benefit, whether it's stealing money or, or framing people or uh, losing evidence or whatever the case may be to try and make sure that 
their team doesn't tying up the loose ends. And Vic Mackey's a smart mastermind kind of criminal where everything is just water off a duck's back. Anything that he gets into, there's always he always pulls the strings in some sort of way or or another to, to get out of them and to make sure that he comes out golden. I've been stepping up shipments. I've been overseeing distribution. Distribution? We're middlemen keeping the peace, not drug dealers. What the hell are you doing? I'm not doing anything that we weren't doing before. I'm just bumping things up a level. Now what level is that? Prison? This is gonna rock, man. Thanks for letting me join the band. Oh, Shane here vouched for you. And in spite of that, I figured what the hell. <laughs> You're gonna bring in more personnel. Yes. The undercover decoy squad. Yes. Stealing my ideas. I'm implementing them along with some of my own. You are stealing my ideas and you're I've got taking the power to make those ideas happen. I can resume. still make a difference here. I will not let you do this to me. Detective Wagonbach craves respect. Fantasizes about being well liked, inadequate with women. That's well, just off some first impressions, but stand by it. Truth is, Sean. I may not have been the most popular guy in high school, but I got laid more than a few times. I'm getting laid now, too. And guess what? She's hot. Hey, man, it's a free country. Nothing free. Man. I'm your landlord, Rundell. I let you use space that I own. I may have to put up with you working under my roof, but it's still my roof. And stay out of my way. Sounds like good advice for both of us. Don't do it! Officer down! This is L.A. <laughs> Not the Wild West. Hey, don't make this mistake. I'm a police officer. Go! Things are about to get crazy and dangerous out there. Put that gun down! I'd like to see a warrant. I'd like to see Anna Kornikova naked on a waterbed. This might be your district. <laughs> It's my world. If you like um, thought-provoking, uh, really cerebral type shows, The Shield is it should be number one on your list. It's fantastic. Seven seasons. You can get them on DVD up to the sixth, I believe. So that should be coming out shortly. If you start on one now and watch them, by the time you're done, seven should be on DVD and. Uh, I don't think you'll regret it. There's a lot of people that say best cop show around, and I think I'm probably one of them. I don't remember seeing any other police shows that were as gritty and, and dark and uh, ominous as The Shield. So It's pretty hard. It's pretty heavy. So I don't know what you're waiting for. Get out there, order it on your Netflix, or get down to the video store and grab it, and you will be thankful that you did. That's all for me right now. If you have seen The Shield and you want to talk, hear about the finale, go ahead and click on my next video. And if you haven't seen The Shield, come back when you're done and watch my finale, and uh, I'll let you know what my thoughts are on that. That's it for now. Take it easy, everybody. My name's Ryan, TV Chinwag, and see you soon. Mm -hmm.